and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For some Bant Arcbow, we're continuing on with trying to decide which deck we want to play during the Mythic Championship Qualifier this weekend. As you can tell from the records on the left, we've had uh, no success today whatsoever, and that's okay. Like you're, so this happens to everybody. <laughs> is what I'm what I'm uh, going to get to here. Um, if you have if you have like a really rough day yourself of uh, losing a lot of matches in a row, just try to keep your head up. Try to learn of what's happening and everything. And and um, sometimes there is a lot of variance with it. There's there is variance in the game. Um, other times you make some mistakes. I've certainly made mistakes th throughout those different games, um, and just try to try to learn from that. So, uh, with that being said, I think we can safely cross four color dread horde and gruel midrange off the list of decks that I am considering playing this weekend. So we got two. We got ban Arcbow and Grixis Control. So let's try both of these out. Bantark Bow um, is a deck that's trying to, you know, play on our opponent's turn quite a bit with the help of both of our Vivians and trying to get all these uh, powerful top end creatures into play. Shalai, Lyra, and Oketra, where we have Furled Mystic and Deputy of Detention for uh, some interaction with the opponent. And I have found this Spark Double Shalai combo to be uh, really, really impressive that if if you ever get get that going um it'll just take over and you know you opponents won't be able to interact with you whatsoever everything will have hex proof i have a second spark double in the sideboard uh, for whenever we play against like mid-range decks like mid-range mid-range green creature decks basically that have some removal but not a ton and i think against those matchups we have a better chance of set, setting up the shalai spark double combo and so I want a, a second spark double because that just will, like I said, take over. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's uh, give this a try. See how we do. See if we can win a match today. Maybe we won't. It's possible we won't win any matches all day. The last, like, probably five days or, or so, four or five days, we've had a whole lot of luck here of winning, um, you know, like, probably 90% of the matches in the last four or five days, something something really high like that. So we are due for one of these days of just getting crushed, and that's all right. So there's a new Mox in Modern now with Suspend. That art is awesome. Moxes are just moxes are really cool. They have really cool art. They're fun to play with. I like moxes. <laughs> yeah, we had been doing just so well like all week, so uh, we we were due for one of these days for sure. We haven't really been playing against opponents that have stumbled, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Do I want to... So it looks like Esper Control... I don't really want to... Hmm. <clears throat> I was going to say, I don't really want to play the Arc Bow immediately, because they could have, like, three mana to fairy bounce the arc bow kind of thing. And if they if they didn't have any removal for Shalai and we would just be able to spark double it, man, that would have been crazy. Ugh. All I want to do... Like, the good news is that like their removal spells they're playing are just these Tyrant Scorns, which are not... Which are not, like, 
hard removal spells. But all I want to do is untap with a lie. We're going to just keep on trying to untap with a lie. We're going to keep on trying it. I'm not going to let the Shalai die to a moment of craving. There's not really too much in my deck that I'm too scared of. Like, Little Teferi is, like, our only, like, I guess Deputy Detention also. Deputy Detention would be the tough one. All right. Here we go. We got there. All right, double shall I combo. Ugh. I can't target any, any of my creatures or planeswalkers the rest of the game. I guess what what they could have is dispersal, which could bounce a Shalai until I play an Oketra. Ooh, drew that to Fairy just a turn too late. I am not going to sit this. Let's skip to the good part. <laughs> oh yeah, like yeah, they could also have sweepers, yeah, like Kaya's rats, stuff like that. They won't be able to target anything though. Much more reliable than humans. Strike now! Strike hard! So doing this so we can attack Teferi and be able to have so we, we don't have to like tap out basically. <laughs> yeah, definitely no settle the wreckage. For sure no settle the wreckage. I won't let you win. Keep up the pace. All right, picked picked him up. Correct, Lacrash. So this has got to be this has got to be Esper Hero, right? This has got to be Hero Precinct One. Yeah, if they're playing. Yeah, this this is definitely Esper Hero, with Thieva Sanity and Basilica Bell Hunt main deck. Hmm, what do I want to do against Esper Hero? Do I want these baffling ends? Not really. I want to keep a lot of creatures in. I definitely just want this Tristani, that's for sure. That's the first thing. I want Tristani. And I, so I like this 61, but I got to cut one thing.
Hmm. I'll get rid of a Jade Light. Maybe I should have got rid of a Deputy at Ascension. So I don't really want vetoes in this matchup. Be a couple of reasons. One, they're not just like all spells. They have a good amount of creatures, you know, like Hero Precinct, Duan, Thief of Sanity, all, all that kind of stuff. Um, but they're also, you know, playing a whole lot of Little Teferi. And, you know, having Dovin's Veto against Little Teferi isn't great, of course. Um, but then, then we're also on the draw, like where... If we're like behind, we really want like the Do the Dovin's veto, and they do, like they have like some Might some good spells idea. for sure, but I don't think there's I don't think they're really playing spells that are like really unbeatable that we need to counter kind of thing. We have I have the Frilled Mystic still. I think that's good enough, um, and I'll just want to keep the creature count high for Arc Bow. I've got time. Trust me, you'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. Ooh, no not tucking shall I. They may have another tyrant scorn to bounce it. Or they just don't care if I attack with it. Yeah, tyrant scorn. No, it doesn't take things out of exile. No, this this only works if they if no, so prison realm, if they prison realm exile your creatures, no, it doesn't doesn't do that. It's only if they gain control of your creatures on and they're on the battlefield. Hurry. Then at at the end step, uh, both sides take them back. Either way. Yes, I think the the playset of of arc bow. I know my responsibility. I think the play set of Arc is better than three. I don't. I don't think you really want, That's more like it. or like you really do want to to be able to play Arc bows. And drawing multiple Arc bows is not a problem because you just discard an Arc bow. You know, you just discard your extra copies. It doesn't matter if you draw extra copies, but you really want one. So yes, it's it's a card you play four of. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Neat party trick. I'm sorry I have to do this. Stand by and watch. Let's skip to the good part. We will meet again. Hmm. It's gonna be tough. 
Let's try this. This is hardly my worst defeat. So they're Esper Planeswalkers now? So maybe I do want all of those? Especially on the play. I feel like Deputy just is going to be dying in this kind of matchup. But I still think, like, is this. I still feel like this is like a the Hero Precinct 1 deck, but maybe not. I, no dark space. That's that's not that's not this deck. That's not this deck. Our opponent had main deck Thief of Sanity and main deck. They had Thief of Sanity main deck and um, Basilica Bell Hunt. Like a, yeah, this is a Hero Precinct one deck. The reason why I didn't bring in the Dovin's Vetoes the first time. So I made that what they had that last game kind of incredible. Don't worry, I got this. Why can't I just have one more mana and be able to Shalai plus Veto? Hardly my worst defeat. Definitely hope no hostage taker. Just have your big to fairy like you've had all this other time. Play the spells. <clears throat> so yeah, so in Esper Hero, they're playing Command the Dread Horde. And I took out the, the Deputy of Detentions, of course card that I could really use right now.
Go, Dawnbringer, go. Arena needs a, a reset. It's been a little jumpy here. Click on things and it's not really reacting. If we just drew basically any other creature besides Llanowar Elf, I'm probably just playing the creature and getting the Oketra trigger. If it's like literally anything else. <laughs> any other creature in our deck. Now, deputies are all on my sideboard, unfortunately. So we're just going to Arcbow for 7 here. See what we hit. I don't understand this attack. Oh, oh, wait. Ah, uh, I was just focused on July. But Frilled Mystic, also, okay, we hit the Shalai and the Frilled Mystic, but we hadn't seen a Shalai yet, so, and, you know, we we looked at seven cards last time, so I kind of figured that we could, and yeah, and then Shalai and Lyra will be lethal up in the air. But I, I still should have activated that before, though. All right, going to put one in the win column. Gonna put one in the win column. Time to start bal balancing that ledger. <laughs> oh. Sorry, the reset? Yeah, sorry, you're a little late there. Yeah, no, I was just talking about that, that I should reset Arena. I was literally just talking about that, but then I, I just went on to the next match. Y'all are too, too slow. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is this is a good deck. Yeah, it's, it's definitely between this and Grixis. for Saturday. <laughs> Winning is as rare as playing a Parhelion too. Oh, sad, but true. But sad, but true. Just let them flip landing. Do I? I'm certainly activating Arcbow. I'm not playing this Vivian. Vivian doesn't do anything. 
but it's whether I want to activate right now and just hope to hit deputy or sorry, hope to hit, uh, yeah, deputy or if I wait and do it during combat where we could hit like Jade Light also, I, I guess we just do it right now. Just try to hit deputy and Oh, all right, got a land war elf. No, I don't have any. I don't have any board wipes in the sideboard. I would have rather played you last turn. A little late over here, Teferi. Shalai combo isn't like, you know, real useful here. I mean, two, three, fours don't block particularly well in this matchup. I'm going to be spinning Arc Bow this turn, looking for either Lyra Dawnbringer, sorry, or Lyra Dawnbringer, or um, Deputy Attention to get rid of all these tokens. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, even just getting a four or five, like we we need to get rid of this stuff. All right, so that's our that's our chances. Oh, I guess I I guess I should have I needed to in response to the Benelish Marshal because of Frilled Mystic, but Frilled Mystic's not going to really save us. We need to hit Deputy Attention here. Well, second best. Am I dead? No, I go to one. So if I if I spark double the Shalai, then I have fourteen life link that they can't tap with Law Rune Enforcer. And I can, you know, block like these three. And I'm taking five you're not a what is this? Knights? So five, ten, sixteen. So I'll I'll die by exactly one if they swing out. No, because I can I can I can block the Benelish Marshal first strike if they swing out. So I won't die. Okay. And if they don't swing out, they don't have enough to kill me either. I need the defense here. I don't think I can attack with Shalai. Like the other Shalai. I don't think I can. Like I have to I have to soak up damage and gain life. I can't just gain some life. Alright, love it. I'm so glad they attacked the Benelish Marshal too. So eat that first strike. And that shrinks these to be five fours, shrinks this to be a five four, but then this to be a four five, or a four four power. I guess this is four power too, but bigger. So we do that. We're taking five ten, no 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 sorry five nine, ten eleven, uh, twelve thirteen. We're taking thirteen. We're gaining fourteen.
So we're going down to two, and they're dead. Need unbreakable formation. I mean, this isn't really worth it, honestly. I think just throw an arc bow for six is a better idea. Better use of the mana. I'm just activating Shalai even. And this is why we have a spark double in our deck. The last time we were playing it, people were saying that the spark double looks like it's a win more card. We're not winning this game at all if we don't have spark double. So with that law rune enforcer over there. We could maybe get, go grab Oketra. Or a Paradise Druid. It's fine. Yeah, formation. Yeah, formation's like their card to draw. Um, I have I have like the arc bow up for like frilled mystics. We haven't really seen frilled mystics. They drew like that or a Benelish marshal. That we could. Hit Frilled Mystics there. We were going to be able to attack with all of our flyers now. We had, we had enough defense and everything. <clears throat> um... So, we want all these Baffling Ends, and another Deputy, and the Knight of Autumns, and the Tristani, and yeah, Arcbow. That's why, people are like, why are you playing four Arcbows? Just look at that game. We had that Instant, instant Speed Lyra, and then just took over a card. That card's just awesome. I guess it didn't do a ton to help us stabilize, but it did enough. Frill Mystic's too slow. How are we doing on creatures over here? 28 is a lot. Do I want Thorn Lieutenant instead of something else for this matchup? Block's reasonable. Reasonably well. What am I cutting for a Thorn Lieutenant, though? Like, is it Oketra? Oketra seems like a weird card to cut. So one of the arc bows. Is it J is it Lieutenant better than Jade Light? I could see that. I could see Lut Lieutenant being better than Jade Light. Especially bringing these knights like other three drops. We'll do that. We'll cut a Jade Light. I like the regular for Grix's control, but more than a mass.
<laughs> the spark double technology. What happened to the gruel deck? I don't know. Our we drew lots of lands a lot of the games. Opponent like all of our opponents just had like good curve outs and had good stuff all the time and we just didn't. It was just got it was just one of those days. It wasn't like the the deck was bad. I was frequently hitting my easily hitting my seventh land drop in my twenty three land deck. Just almost every game. Well, opponents had a lot of gas. Ow. Alright, first two draw steps have been lands. I was certainly, like, with keeping this hand, you know, it was, it was turn four Lyra with this hand. But with our three draw steps, we're hoping to draw anything that costs four or less in our deck to play um, in three draw steps. And so far it's been land to land. Could really use something next turn to help bridge the gap. Just anything. Now we certainly need something. Hey, Nagu. What's up? Nope. Not looking good. Nope. Not looking good at all. Take deputy to detention, please. We drew, we had five draws and every single one of them was useless. We didn't draw any, any spell that cost four or less, didn't do it. <laughs> and it's not like I kept a handful of them. Didn't draw anything from these four columns, all these two. That's what's been happening today. All right, thanks, Orisonic. I had the did not update the decklist command. I'll go ahead and do that. All right, that should be <clears throat> that should be updated now. <laughs> thanks, Morgan. We got this. We're on the play now, game three, and we get to be on the play. So lucky. We are on the play. The six card hand. If these were like my, like, you know, five of my six draw, or like, if five of these cards were my draw steps last game, that would have been real nice. Do we have turn three Dawnbringer? Nope. Ow. I don't think I'm gonna play around it, you know, a second baffling end here. They use like their turn on another baffling end. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna use. I don't think we're gonna play around that. One more chance. So no conclave tribunals, please. No tribunals.
Never lucky. Never lucky. So I don't want them to flip landing and then be able to cast their three mana spells here. I want to slow them down. And this is the downside of having Spark Double. Can we draw a Knight of Autumn, please? They have an Elephant, too? The game we needed to draw all the low cost stuff, obviously we don't, and then the game we need to draw some high cost stuff, we draw all the mana creatures. <laughs> yep, that's that's my day today. Oh, and I didn't even think about resetting arena. Too slow, Yud. Too slow. Yeah, we definitely need to reset for luck, for sure. Absolutely. So I can play out the Land War Elves the and try to, to be contained. get to Dawnbringer next Holy turn, but there's a couple of flaws with that. One, we don't even have two, two white mana for the Dawnbringer. And then two, if they just play like a Chain Whirler and kill all my Land War Elves, that'd be... Sad day. So it's going to be like that, huh? Now we're getting started. Have you ever lost a home? All right, I can't imagine that they have a chain roller if they're willing to trade there. Let me show you what was lost. Let's tear this place apart. You can still walk away. Oh, that's true. I could just flash in those land of elves. That's, that's a good point. I could have done that. <clears throat> okay, so you've got claws. <clears throat> It's all good. They Not they did a good. Bad. The land Worlds did a good job. You know, trade with the pyromancer, trading with the lightning strike, 
or just crappy land war elves that would have just got cleaned up by these chain whirlers. They did a very good job. And I am pretty confident we're going to win this. Now. But maybe not. It's all about frenzy right now. Hey, Heartshed. <clears throat> I wanted to build either Bant Arcbow or the Grixis Control deck, but limited on wild cards. Could I get your thoughts on uh, each and which one you think is more competitive or likely to win in the current metagame? Yeah, so... All right, well, they did have Frenzy. Never mind. Okay, we can certainly lose now. We went from good favorites to win to good favorites to lose. All in one card. Um, so yeah, basically they're both they're both good choices. Um, I am um, yeah, like I, I like both of them. It's kind of a personal preference thing of like what your play style is of which one you'll enjoy playing more. I think that's that's a, a big part of it. Um, I think I think I like Grix's control more myself right now. But the Grixis Control is the kind of deck that you can... It's the kind of deck that's a lot more uh, adaptive towards whatever's happening in the metagame, where you need to kind of stay on top of it. Wow. Never mind, we just automatically win. They couldn't kill Shalai. And now they're dead. Can't target us anymore. Um... Where like this deck, this deck's gonna be like, you know, basically pretty close to the same and pretty good no matter what happens in the metagame. Like the Grixis, you can tune it with all the different reactive spells. You can just continue to tune it and try to make it the best it can be against whatever's happening. Uh, but there may be, there may be some decks that are just kind of too difficult to defeat with it, kind of thing. And so there. The metagame can turn to a spot where the Grixis control is not good. Like that, that can happen. However, this deck is just how it is so proactive. It's just going to be pretty decent all of the time. Kind of no matter what's happening. I just want to take out like Paradise Druids because the Chain Whirler. No, not really. No, we need Paradise Druid. Question is, is Bant Bow better than regular Bant? I believe it is for how um, for how I like to play. I, I really like the bow quite a bit. But I haven't given Bant Midrange a fair shake, to be honest. I just have gravitated towards the bow and just I haven't felt any reason why I want to give up arc bow and, and move away from it to be regular band mid-range so i don't have a i don't have a completely honest answer of yes it's absolutely better because i've just been very satisfied with arc bow and just play that so i you know it's kind of biased i guess is my uh real response how do you recommend somebody new magic to start building decks irl uh find 
like figure out whatever deck you want kind of thing and buy singles to, don't buy booster boxes it's much more expensive to buy booster boxes and you don't really get what you want uh buy buy the individual yeah buy the individual singles um of something like tcg player I think my tech with Grixis against four colors is going to be Unmoored Ego for Command the Dread Horde. I think that's where I'm at with my life. Come on, July. Come on, July. July. Ah, dang. All right, deputy. Because July just kills the the Chandra. Like we wouldn't get shocked. We're done here. And you would get to just kill kill Chandra also. I know there's a couple other questions that I missed. If I if I missed your question before, feel free to re-ask a question. I think there's something else. What's that smell? Oh, I played Tiger Joe. I played the four color dread horde earlier, as you can tell, we went 0 and 3. Did not do very well. In fact, did poorly. Even. I guess I'm just gonna attack the Chandra. We just don't gain two life. Stop! I don't really want to do Shalai. I don't really want to try to like arc bow for Shalai right now. Even though that would have killed the Chandra. I think I value the instant speed. No, I probably won't be playing an Is It Phoenix deck. No, MCQ starts on Saturday. Uh, tomorrow, I won't. Tomorrow and Sunday, I won't be streaming. Um. I have a friend coming into town. I need to do like. Uh, just clean up around the house, all that kind of stuff, and he's coming in the middle of the day. Um, and we're just going to be winning this game. Guess you don't need me anymore. No, nah, I really don't. So we're going to figure out what deck we want to play tonight. And then... As you can tell, Saturday, 10 a.m. <clears throat> that's when I'll. That's when. That's when I. I will be streaming the MCQ here on Arena, and hopefully we get a bunch of wins and not very many losses.
yeah, Arcbow can miss, but whenever you, you know, like whenever you're spending all your mana like this, it's really hard to miss with, you know, looking at seven cards. <laughs> uh, but I guess it can happen. Six lands and an Arcbow. Sure. It's really hard, but it can happen, I guess. I had to say it. I had to say it. Well, we haven't seen Shalai yet. And we've gone a lot of cards down. Right? Like, we haven't seen any Shalai's right yet. Right. Yeah, we have not. So I'm going to... Like, if they kill my deputy, which it looks like that's what they're going to do here, I don't want them to get their frenzy back. I think I'm just going to arc bow for four and ditch this Dawnbringer. But obviously, I guess if they just kill the deputy, they're dead, though. So they can't really do that. Because that's just... That's just six power here, and they're at six, and they're like tapped out. Well, they could hit a land drop off a of frenzy, and then play lava runner, or just have their own land. Oketra, Oketra. There's a Shly. Yeah, I think that is the only time I've ever whipped on, like, uh, Arc Bow for seven, ever. So what if you miss when you need it? Well, what if, like, against the Mono White opponent earlier, we were, like, dead in the water, but all our, our only hope was, like, hitting a Lyra Dawnbringer on five, and we did with the Bant. We found... You know, it helped us find a Lyra Dawnbringer and put it into play at instant speed during blockers, during combat. Uh, I tried to cancel to reset Arena. Uh. I tried to cancel. I really did. That card's pretty powerful. I hope they play another Steamkin this turn. Uh, I guess they'll just get their Steamkins back after they kill my deputy, so maybe not. Maybe that's not actually what I hope. Two spells. It's annoying. I missed a land drop. Well, Deputy costs white mana. I don't have white mana. So I don't think I can play the Deputy. Not chain whirler. You know the card in their hand is a spell.
Really just playing the Chandra off the top instead of this Lightning Strike that's lethal? Come on. Steamkin's kind of messed up. All right, let's bring in all these cards we did last time. Got a whole lot of cards to bring in here. This is 59. Keep a spark double in last time? I think I did. Yeah, Grixis is, is up after after this deck. Hey, Danny. Thanks for that sub there. Bringing the hype here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that resub for three months now. Awesome. All right. Say the 23rd. At least we can have Jade Light on turn three. That hurts. Putting that to the bottom. It's a good card. But I'm not, I'm looking for land. I don't want to get rid of anything that's not a land. If that was a green, if this was a green source right here, I would, would have been blocking. All right, looks like our opponent has Chain Whirler. If they don't want to trade their Lava Runner for Paradise Druid, the only reason why they wouldn't want to trade that is Chain Whirler. And yes, they want me to block here, then Chain Whirler away both my creatures. Um, is that a good trade for me? I think so. Like, the Lava Runner is going to get bigger eventually and, and like just only trade with the Jade Light anyway. And might as well keep our life total as high as we can. Obviously, there's no way I'm blocking this. It's all, all good to block with Dawnbringer, because Dawnbringer has Hexproof. That was the only card we could possibly lose to. We're going to have to just try to end the game as fast as we can before that takes over. Maybe I should have just activated July instead of wanting some jump blockers. Fun and games. 
themselves until someone gets hurt. Alright, so I'll make the Dawnbringer lethal now. Oh no, or Planeswalker. They can hit a Planeswalker. That's my job. Right. Hey, what's up, Doomy? Um, I don't, I don't know about. Honestly, I haven't played the Green White Value Town deck uh, in half a year. I haven't, haven't played Modern at all in the last half year. So I don't, I don't have any like real good insights of how it, it's positioned right now in the current metagame. To be honest. I'm gonna go with the Jade Light over the Spark Double. I mean, the Spark Double combo is awesome if we can get it, and you know, if we can actually get it. So we've seen it's pretty tough to get, especially on the draw. So I, I'm just gonna go with the Jade Light that can help us hit the lands and get to the five mana cards. Thorn Lieutenant's in the sideboard for the aggro decks to just give you a little bit of bridge towards hitting these. Getting these five mana mythics. You just want to slow your opponent down to get to Shalai, Lyra, Tristani, that kind of stuff, and it can do that. It's a speed bump. Same thing as the other game. Love Night of Autumn. Hurts getting rid of it. We have to play this card. And I can't rely on my mana creature surviving. Hey, thanks, Dr. Grindel. Thanks for that resub. Yeah, I'll probably get to that on Monday. I'm getting Grixis League again. Steam Kid and Chain Whirler are real good. Probably just need a fourth baffling end in the sideboard. You should be flattered. I just the more. The oh, I thought that was Shalai. Oh, I thought we just got Shalai. It's going to be all happy. I should just shock it and just play the Thorn Lieutenant. Well, so I'm thinking like I could save Thorn Lieutenant for Oketra. I'm gonna do the shock in.
Good hand. I need more baffling ends. Steamkin and Chain Whirler. Like, as if you kill Steam Steamkin and Chain Whirler, you win. If you don't, you lose. That's how it works with this deck. This needs to be a baffling end. I can't gain life. Yeah, we definitely need to restart the client. It was really bugging me during that game and has been for a while. Everybody's reminded me this time. <clears throat> that kind of getting bugged like that, like how you, how that bothers you, like with all that, um, it certainly helps, or sorry, sorry, certainly hurts your draw steps. Whoa, what happened? Um, all right, we're back. All good. Hey, Sork, GG's. All right, so I need it. I need to just have a, a fourth, orth, fourth baffle again instead of that Thorn Lieutenant. That Thorn Lieutenant, not nearly as good as baffle again. You got to have to have removal for Steamkin Chain Whirler. And so Thorn Lieutenant's never going to be as good as a, a baffle again would be. All right, so we're going to update that. No, I don't really like Prison Realm. Wow, we get turn one Land War Elf. It's been a while since we've had that. Alright, mono red yet again. Need some land drops. Alright, Gruel Midrange is, is almost ready to go up on YouTube. I'm getting that up there right now. Uh, just go graveyard. I no zero percent chance I would play the red deck in MCQ. Just actual zero. I enjoy playing against mono red. Um, I am I'm perfectly fine with getting paired against it every round, honestly. doesn't mean I win every single one of them you know like we lost the last one but I'm fairly confident we're going to be winning a good majority of them and it's just a matchup that I've played so much that 
It's one I don't mind playing at all. Because I've played against Mono Red here. I sense Guilds of Ravnica you know, a thousand times. I don't know. 500 times. Definitely a high percentage of times. So I want to ha have them have a little bit less, you know, like, a, I want that Lightning Strike out of there, because if they have, like, another, like, if I would have played Shalai, if they have another Burn Spell, then it was real easy for them to go Lightning Strike plus other Burn Spell to kill the Shalai. Now that Lightning Strike's out of there, so we'll play Shalai next turn. So they need, you know, multiple Burn Spells next turn to kill Shalai. That's unfortunate. All right, we got all four baffling ends now. We're gonna play these Dovin's vetoes. I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to play Dovin's Vetoes and Frilled Mystics. Trimming a couple land war elves. I was cutting the Frilled Mystics before, but honestly, I think I want them. No, I, I do not believe blocking the Chain Wheeler would have been better in retrospective, no. Yes, dank I am. The... Uh, so, presuming, like, with that all that attack, you know, I have to assume that they have a burn spell. Like, it's it's just most likely they have a burn spell. Um, and against any burn spell, I would much rather... Uh, I'd much rather block the 2-2 two -two where the burn spell trades, kills the Shalai, and kills a creature instead of... Instead of where, if we block the Chain Whirler, the first strike damage happens on the Shalai, and then the, the Burn Spell kill, kills the Shalai, and we don't get to trade with anything. And that second scenario would cause a huge problem for us of continuing on the next turn. Oh, I, I, all right, that's a mistake. I didn't realize I didn't have two white mana that I can't baffling end and veto. That's a mistake. I need a shock in here. Um, 
Don't have veto now. That mistake could certainly cost me this game. That was gonna cost me. Uh, Carol, it's a it's a weekend event to qualify for a mythic championship. We're gonna be doing that on Saturday. So much for trying the Dovin's Veto plan. I mean, I, I threw that. I threw that. Yeah, I, I threw that game. With the... Like, I think we were in a good position there. If I just count... If I counted the second burn spell, have the Shalai... Especially how we draw the other Dovin's Veto to protect the Shalai. I, I just messed that whole game up. Yeah, Storm, I was out of the top 1,000 five matches ago. Nope, no breaks. Can't, you know, make a make a mistake, and completely punish for it immediately. No, catching no breaks today. All right, so activating incubation druid to have a ton of mana. We'll have like the frilled mystic counter. We just really hope they have a like a planeswalker here, but really hope it's not Krasis. Obviously, they don't have blue mana right now for Krasis, but just really hope they don't have a Krasis that they can just draw a whole lot of cards with. If it's like a Nissa, you know, we can counter that and they don't get to draw a bunch of cards. I'll just stack it. Hmm. So they just have green mana. Let's see if we can untap with Oketra and have double Frilled Mystic to basically win from here. Hope they're they don't have blue mana. If if this is a green blue deck, it it's presumably a green blue deck. Can't there? There's no new shuffler. The shuffler doesn't change. Like when there's an update, there's no change to the shuffler. So I want the extra deputy, the extra spark double. And an extra Teferi. No, extra Tristani. Because this could be steal all your creatures. <clears throat> and I'm going to just take out the Jade Lights. And like the green mirror here. I don't think the Jade Lights are going to be doing a whole lot of damage. No. No, nothing's, nothing's changed with the, the Shuffler at all. Go and try this. Definitely really like Deputy. And I like the Deputy Shalai combination.
That's annoying. Yeah, we have we have Tristani in here. Yes, I will be playing either Grixis Control or this deck this weekend. I'll kind of make that decision later on in the stream. Nothing's going good today. I won't be surprised if we lose a bunch with Grixis too. We're trying to get all the losses out today. And hopefully not have them later on. I'm surprised they they didn't click yes, put it into the owner's library, honestly. I think that's a spot where you're supposed to put it into the owner's library. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you. Good card to draw. So I won't give them any inf more information about what my turn's going to look like before they make blocks here. Our opponent could not blow us out with a double block at all. If they if they double block, I just do the first strike damage to the 3-3 three, three and kill it. And then their 4-4 four, four deals 6 damage to my creature. Like, the, the first strike block doesn't... Does not kill Oketra because of first strike. So yeah, we don't have to be worried about that. We just got to make the attack. Um willingly there. Cool, Arsonic, what'd you find? If you click multiple creatures before choosing who to attack, you can then target them with multiple creatures. Oh, so you can you can like go like click 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 your creatures and then click the planeswalker. For example, you don't have to like drag each one. That's pretty nice. Okay, so you can be like, all right, these three creatures attack you and those three creatures attack your Teferi. Cool. Let's see if you're worthy. 
Looking for Frilled Mystic. All things begin and Found Frilled end Mystic. In nature. Unfortunately, we put another Frilled and a Deputy down to the bottom. You fight like a city. Alright, we need to play another blue land. Good job, Yud. You went 5 0 with the Amass deck yesterday. Way to go. For the fallen. Oh, that was me going 5-0 yesterday with the deck. Oh, sorry. Well, still, good job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoops. You can still walk away. I guess ever, we can all 5 0 with it now. That's a, that's a good call, Montana. The three mana give a creature minus two, minus two, and a, a mass two. That, that, it, that card is sneaky good. I like that one. Hmm. I don't really want them to blast zone on. Oh, that's bad. Say I didn't really want them to blast zone on three. So I don't want to play Jade Light. We do have we do have fifteen power here between these things. Like Nissa. We will this not is fine. Fail. It's fine I too. I have just the trick for this. All right, Project Vanner. Yeah, four color commands a great deck. We want a spark double. Can we like instant speed with Vivian, instant speed, spark double, a frilled mystic? Is that something that can happen? Zacher with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Zacher. Thank you so much for that support. Sub number seven on the day. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, so our, our opponent's playing like the newer version of Nexus with, uh, you know, three Tamiya, three Nissa, a couple of Narsets, you know, like where they're not really relying on Wilderness Reclamation nearly as much because of all the Teferis around. Um, I think I was think I'm going to be cutting Shalai and Lyra, or at least trimming these. I'm not going to play the two Spark Doubles. I guess I'm not even going to play Spark Double. 64. Get rid of Jade Light. And then that's a lot of creatures gone. So I guess this Vivian's going to be worse with all those creatures gone.
Not sure exactly what have in the sideboard. Carnage Tyrant, Biogenic Ooze. Crushing Canopy. Doesn't hit. Arc Bow. I think this version is going to be really weak to Deputy. I guess they have Blast Zones. I don't think they have Bounce Spells. Okay, so this is not the exact list that I was looking at. Alright, well, they've done a lot of ramping. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a rough day here, Saucy Noodles, but that's okay. We've been having such a such success recently. Gotta have one of these days here eventually. I don't think Narset's really that great but she does you know impulse twice so you know that takes it's countering two impulses basically They have. <clears throat> they had no lands in hand for that growth spiral. Yeah, it's been a long time since Mono Red hasn't been strong. Years. It's kind of that way when you get to like the seven, eight sets. If there's like, you know, two good like red cards in each set, then whenever you have like seven sets, you know, there's like one and a half or so, you know, like one one good red card. Like even just like one like really great red card each set, and then you have like seven sets like now, like that's that's you know, they play four of all of them, and so then that's twenty eight cards that's basically your deck you just have a few role players here and there you know like just whatever good you know r red rare mythic is in there burn spells are just so versatile burn spells are just it's really the strength of cards like lightning strike how they can be removal or go upstairs they're never dead it's not like you're playing cast down that only kills creatures and is going to be dead other other times
All right, they get a turn with all this mana. What do they got? This is Biogenic Ooze. It's fine. I think if I'm then I'm leading with like probably leading with the Nexus and see if that gets countered, then resolve Biogenic Goose, right? I don't know, maybe not. I guess it depends on what else they have in their hand. I don't think our opponent's playing manipulation. Narset. So do they have do they have another Nexus? Meditate and prepare. It's a good sign. I agree. Oketra zombies should be cat zombies. I agree. But I guess it, it makes sense story-wise because they always talk about like these Behold, these zombie power. warriors, you know, like in the in the story. Oh, they did have another nexus. That's unfortunate. So since mind. since they already they already had that nexus in hand, what they really need to do there is cast the nexus before activating the Narset uh, to give them just that extra. And like again here, you need to cast Nexus first before activating Escanta each time that you're doing this. Like, because there's just one less Nexus in their deck right now. Like, if if you ever do play a Nexus deck, always cast it first and put it back into the library, and then cast all your card draw stuff. This isn't really like with Wilderness Reclamation where they have, you know, a bunch of Ascanta activations right now. They The Narset's done done with now, so the Narset doesn't get to Impulse anymore. So they have the one Impulse with the Ascanta, and that's it for right now. Well. That's a lot more Impulsing. I know I noted this somewhere. Rise, my elemental friend. We'll see if they have if they have another Nexus. I'm conceding. We'll see if they do. Looks like they found one off the Krasis there. 
All right. Game three. Let me get this arc bow down on turn two and have the ability to start activating it. Only a few more months for Nexus in the format. Certainly like to draw small Teferi, of course. Attack. Definitely like having the arc bow for five more than four with us having the Oketras and stuff like that. But obviously there's the Frilled Mystics as well. No, it's, it's usually good to change between games, you know, change your, whether you're on the play or on the draw, that's usually... It's usually good to change your sideboarding. Hmm. So do they want to blast zone away the deputy or the arc bow? Neither. Hey, what's up, Riot Veil? Vale? Good evening. Not activating that time because I don't want them to just be able to Nexus in response. That was their plan. I think I try to counter it. Mm, no. No, I don't. Because <clears throat> besides the Frilled Mystics, we do still have more Deputies and Knight of Autumns in the deck. And I guess the, the whole Deputy Frilled Mystic thing is kind of awkward.
Because, you know, Frilled Mystic counters it on the stack. Deputy takes it when it's not on the stack. So it's like, if you, if you activate your arc bow while the thing's on the stack and then you hit Deputy, it's a huge bummer. But if you wait till after it's on in play and then you hit Frilled Mystic, it's a huge bummer. No. Two six. All right. And we won game seven there of our World Series. So I ended up going four and three. So not bad. We lost a couple of times to red. I tried I tried some different things and um, you know, we added in this baffling end uh, the last time I definitely made the mistake uh, not of like um, not having the two white sources out that last game that we lost to the red so we went one and two against red four and one against other decks where i think we can be okay against red um especially if i really hatch it out the the sideboard plan i think i i i think i ended up did uh i think i do like frilled mystics and dovin's vetoes against red I think I kind of need to adapt and take out Land of War Elves, keep Paradise Druid, and have like those cards in Frilled Mystic and, and Dovin's Veto, and, and we got this fourth Baffling End. I'm pretty confident in the red matchup, but yeah, deck played out pretty well. It's not perfect. It's not. Um, but we got to do a lot of really cool things, and Arcbow is just awesome. Yeah, Arcbow is really good. Yeah, the other day we were at 25 the other day. That was the highest I got to on the on the ladder. We were at like 100 today before dropping all the way down with all these losses today. Um, so there we go. That's Bant Arcbow. Uh, strong consideration for the tournament this weekend. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on to Grixis Control here and try that out also and then kind of make our determination whether we want to play Bant or Grixis after that. Um, so yeah, one, two against red, but I think I have a, a better plan now moving forward. And then we were four, one against other decks. Um, all right. Or three, one, I guess three, one against other decks. Yeah. Cause one, that, that would make sense. Three, one. All right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit that like button over there. Uh, that's it for band arc bow today. Um, See you for another video. Click on over to check out Grixis Control as well. But thanks again for watching and take care.